Welcome to Q&A practice. Let's get started with the with the defense. Ready? Were you operating John's Rentals during the month of May? Yes. Calling your attention to the defendant who is here at the council table. Did he come to see you during that month for a rental? Yes. On what date? Saturday, May the... Oh gosh, I don't remember. And what time of the day or night did you see Mr. Turner on that occasion, sir? At what time of the day or night did you see Mr. Turner on that occasion? It would be toward the afternoon. Well, it was 4.20 because the time is stamped exactly on here. Did you handle the transaction yourself? Yes, sir, I did. Tell us what transpired between you and Mr. Turner regarding this rental. Well, Mr. Turner and a young guy came to my place to rent a cutting torch. Do you know who the other man was? I really didn't pay any attention to him, sir. All right, go on. And he wanted to rent this cutting torch he said he had two cars in his yard that he wanted to cut them up. Did you rent him a trailer? Yes, we rented him a trailer and hitched it on and loaded the equipment in the trailer. Did he go away with your trailer? That is right. He left with my equipment. Now calling your attention to the signature signed to that rental agreement, mark, marked Defendant's Exhibit 1. Did you see this Mr. Turner sign it? Yes, sir, I did. Did he put it down there as it now appears? That is right. All right. <clears throat> now let's do a little practice from our transcript. And we'll start with the plaintiff. Ready? You were trained on how to properly complete that? Yes. And at the academy, as well as in your post-academy work there at the CHP, they told you to always include in the report that you prepare the traffic investigation report all the important facets of your investigation, correct? Yes. You were told to always document and report the where the physical evidence is on the at the traffic scene, if you will, post accident, correct. And they also told you to always seek out, if you will, all witnesses who saw the accident to get information, true, correct. And they mentioned that sometimes it's needed to to contact people on the phone to follow up with witnesses? Yes, and you've done that, have you not? Correct. That is, 
if you find out there was a witness at the scene that wasn't still at the scene. It was the rule there at the academy. They told you, hey, follow up with a phone call and get the information from that person, yes. And you've done that in the past, yes. With regard to your work at the academy, did they include in your training how to use a total station? No. With regard to the gathering and recording of evidence at the scene of an accident, how did you learn to place the evidence in the report? Was it with use of a factual diagram? Yes. And tell me what a factual diagram is. A factual diagram would be an accurate representation of the collision scene with evidence plotted along that diagram. Okay, up to the present time, have you ever been trained on the use of a total station? Up to the present time? Yes. No. Okay. Have you ever prepared any kind of a report wherein putting the physical evidence on a factual diagram, you actually used a total station to do that? Have you ever done it yourself? No. Clearly, with regard to this, this accident, when I say the subject accident, I'm referring to the accident, the fatal accident involving David Morris and Ms. Alice Sanchez. That's the subject accident, okay? Yes. And if I talk about the subject date or the date of the accident today, I'm referring to July 18th, 2012, okay? Yes with regard to the subject accident because I do have a copy of the report before me just so you and you're aware of that. Okay. Let's go back to our, our Q&A about the, the cutting torch. We'll, we'll finish this up. Ready? And that was the defendant Turner here that signed it. That is right. Now, have you seen your trailer and your cutting equipment since then? Oh, yes. I picked everything up. Where did you pick it up? I picked the trailer up at A1 Garage, and the cutting equipment I picked that up from the Las Vegas Police Department. Did someone call you concerning your equipment? Yes. Who was that? Well, let's see. What is his name? It was the police department. I didn't get the name. He called at three o'clock in the morning. Somebody who identified himself as being from the Las Vegas Police Department called you? That is right. And you went down and got your equipment at 3 o'clock in the morning. 
did someone come to your place later and take a picture of this equipment that you rented to Mr. Turner? Yes, they did. When was that? Do you remember? Well, that was possibly, I am sure it was Wednesday morning. Did they point the camera at the piece of equipment or pieces of equipment that you rented to Mr. Turner before? That is right. We pointed the equipment out. In fact, it was lying. It was just right in sight for this reason. Is this a picture of that equipment? Yes. Is that the equipment you rented to Mr. Turner on the 16th of May? Yes, sir. Now, here is a picture of a trailer. Will you look at it and tell us whether or not this is the trailer that you rented to Mr. Turner that day? It is. What sort of torch is that connected with this equipment? It is a standard cutting torch. All right, that will conclude our Q&A practice. Thank you.